We've all heard them. Survival myths, passed down through generations, often perpetuated by Hollywood's dramatic flair. They sound convincing, even logical in some twisted way, but these misconceptions can be downright dangerous when your life is on the line. Imagine finding yourself lost in the wilderness, relying on moss to guide you north, only to end up deeper in the woods, panic setting in, or worse, desperately sucking venom from a snake bite, accelerating the toxins spread through your body. These myths aren't just harmless campfire stories, they can have life-threatening consequences. The allure of these simple solutions can be misleading, giving a false sense of security. When survival is at stake, relying on misinformation can be the difference between making it out alive and becoming another cautionary tale. It's time to shatter these dangerous myths and replace them with real, practical survival strategies. This isn't about fear-mongering, it's about empowering you with the truth. Understanding the facts and ditching the fiction is the first step towards responsible preparedness. It's about equipping yourself with the knowledge to face the unexpected, to make informed decisions when nature throws its curveballs. So, let's delve into the world of survival myths. Separating fact from fiction and ensuring your next adventure doesn't turn into a desperate fight for survival based on misinformation. Remember, your life might depend on it. Moss grows on the north side of trees, we've heard it countless times, often presented as a foolproof way to find your bearings in the wilderness. This myth likely stems from the observation that moss often thrives in shaded areas, and in the northern hemisphere the north side of trees tends to receive less direct sunlight. However, moss growth is influenced by a multitude of factors, not just sunlight. Moisture, prevailing winds, tree density and even the terrain can affect where moss flourishes. Relying solely on moss for navigation is like playing roulette with your survival. You might stumble upon a patch of moss growing on the south side due to a water source or a gap in the canopy, leading you further astray. Instead of relying on this mossy myth, equip yourself with a compass and a map. Learn to use them effectively and always have a backup plan. Study the terrain, look for landmarks, and use the sun's position as a general guide. These are far more reliable methods of navigation than simply trusting the whims of moss growth. Don't fall for the allure of a quick and easy solution. Invest the time and effort to understand real navigation techniques. Your ability to find your way back to safety depends on it. The image is ingrained in our minds. A heroic figure sucking venom from a snake bite, saving the day. This dramatic act, often depicted in movies, is not only ineffective but potentially harmful. Firstly, venom spreads rapidly through the lymphatic system, making sucking it out virtually impossible. By the time you react, the venom is already on its way. Secondly, introducing your mouth to the wound increases the risk of infection, both for the victim and the would-be rescuer. The bacteria in your mouth can contaminate the wound, leading to further complications. Instead of risking infection and spreading the venom, focus on immobilizing the affected limb and getting professional medical help as quickly as possible. Keep the bite area below heart level to slow down the venom spread and avoid unnecessary movement. Time is of the essence with snake bites, so prioritize reaching medical professionals equipped with antivenom. Remember, Hollywood heroics won't save you in a real-life snake bite scenario. Knowledge and prompt medical attention are your best allies. Section 4. Alcohol's chilling deception, warmth, or a faster demise. A swig of whiskey to ward off the cold. It sounds like a rugged, effective solution, right? Wrong. While alcohol might initially create a sensation of warmth, it's a deceptive and dangerous illusion. Alcohol dilates blood vessels, bringing warm blood closer to the skin's surface. This creates the feeling of warmth, but it's actually accelerating heat loss. Your body is essentially dumping precious heat into the surrounding environment. Furthermore, alcohol impairs judgment and coordination, making you more susceptible to risky decisions and accidents in a survival situation. Instead of reaching for the flask, focus on building a proper shelter, layering clothing for insulation, and finding or creating a source of heat. These are far more effective strategies for maintaining body temperature in cold conditions. Remember, warmth is crucial for survival, and relying on alcohol's deceptive warmth can have dire consequences. Prioritize real survival techniques and ditch the quick fixes that can jeopardize your well-being. Your body will thank you for it. Section 5. The Survival Hierarchy – Getting Your Priorities Straight Survival scenarios demand clear thinking and a systematic approach. Panic leads to poor decision-making and prioritizing the wrong things can quickly escalate a situation. 
One common myth is that finding food should be your top priority. While sustenance is essential in the long run, it's not the immediate concern in a survival scenario. The rule of threes provides a more realistic and effective survival hierarchy. You can survive three minutes without air, three hours without shelter in extreme conditions, three days without water, and three weeks without food. This hierarchy highlights the immediate priorities, ensuring breathable air, finding or creating shelter from the elements, and securing a source of clean water. These are the cornerstones of survival, and attending to them should precede the search for food. Remember, a clear head and a prioritized approach are your greatest assets in a survival situation. Focus on the fundamentals, and you'll increase your chances of making it out safely. Panic is a survival killer. Logic is your lifeline. Section 6. Hydration Illusions Why eating snow can make you thirstier When you're parched and surrounded by snow, it seems like a no-brainer. Eat the snow to quench your thirst. However, this seemingly logical solution can actually worsen your dehydration. Eating snow lowers your core body temperature, requiring your body to expend more energy to warm itself up. This energy expenditure further depletes your hydration levels, leaving you thirstier than before. Moreover, snow often contains impurities and contaminants that can upset your stomach, leading to vomiting and further dehydration. Instead of munching on snow, prioritize finding a source of clean water or melting snow to create drinkable water. This might involve collecting rainwater, locating a stream or spring, or utilizing a container and a heat source to melt snow safely. Remember, hydration is crucial for survival, and resorting to eating snow can backfire, jeopardizing your well-being. Focus on safe and effective methods of hydration to ensure your body has the fluids it needs to endure a survival situation. Don't let the allure of a quick fix lead you astray. Section 7. Conclusion. Ditch the myths, embrace real survival knowledge. Survival isn't a game of chance. It's a test of knowledge, preparedness, and resilience. Clinging to myths and misconceptions can have dire consequences, turning a challenging situation into a life-threatening one. Ditching these myths and embracing real, practical survival skills is paramount. Equip yourself with the knowledge to navigate effectively, respond appropriately to injuries, prioritize your survival needs, and find safe sources of water. Invest in a compass and map, learn basic first aid, understand the importance of shelter and warmth, and familiarize yourself with water purification techniques. These are the tools that will empower you to face the unexpected, to make informed decisions when nature throws its curveballs. Remember, survival isn't about luck, it's about preparation. It's about understanding the realities of the wilderness and equipping yourself with the knowledge and skills to thrive, not just survive. So, ditch the myths, embrace the truth, and venture into the wild with confidence, knowing that you're prepared for whatever challenges lie ahead. Your life might depend on it.